Good evening, you're watching the news from the Salted Oman Television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos receives more cables of greetings on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan. The Salted wins the regional director positions of the World Health Organization for Middle East and North Africa. And within the Fakurba initiative, 30 people are set free through courts of the Governorate of Ohio. Those are the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos received more caves of greetings on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan from a number of uh, crown princes, government leaders, senior officials and Arab and Islamic world, as well as the highnesses and excellences, the ministers, advisors, honorable members of the state council, the excellences members of the Shura Council, under secretaries, Oman ambassadors, ambassadors of the sisterly and friendly Arab and Islamic countries, accredited to the Sultan, sheikhs, dignitaries, and citizens. They express their warm greetings along with their best wishes to His Majesty the Sultan, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty and grant him good health, happiness and long life and to achieve for the Almighty people aspirations of further progress and prosperity under His Majesty's wise leadership and to return such occasions on His Majesty Oman's Arab and Islamic nations with pride, glory and success. The Sultan won the position of the Regional Director of the World Health Organization, WHO, for the Middle East and North Africa. This came after Dr. Ahmed bin Salim al mandri got majority of the votes in the elections that were conducted in the premises of the WHO in Geneva. It's worth mentioning that this achievement came after years of hard work by the Ministry of Health in developing the health sector as well as the laws so as to be in line with the international standards. The Sultan promised to exert great efforts to activate the role of the regional office in implementation of the WHO's policies in Middle East region. The risks of parking trucks at residential areas and challenges facing livestock markets top discussions of the fifth meeting of the Municipal Council in the Governorate of Buremi. The members of the council discussed during the meeting topics related to environment and proposals to establish heritage village in the wilaya of Bremi. The meeting also discussed a number of industrial issues in the wilaya of Sinina, as well as the necessity to establish a center for monitoring expatriates manpower. The National Center for Statistics and Information conducts an annual comprehensive survey of foreign investment in the Sultanate for the finished fiscal year 2017. It aims to develop an accurate database on foreign direct investment in Oman, which will help the decision makers to take appropriate decisions that will play a major role in creating a conductive or conducive environment to attract additional foreign investments. Aiming to highlight the importance of the linking theory with practical applications for students ma majoring in design and to showcase their creativity in design, Nizu Design Week 2018 concluded at the Nizu College of Applied Sciences. This event was held over the period of four days and more details were following forward by Saleh bin Khalfan al rahbi After four days of scientific and practical discussions, Nizwa Design Week 2018 concluded at Nizwa College of Applied Sciences, emphasizing the importance of linking theory with practical applications for students measuring in design. We are holding this exhibition in order to enhance the correlation between the design students and the industry. We are trying to inform them more about the industry and to get those who are expertise in this field uh, to give some of their knowledge to the students on the practical basis and also the challenges that they are going to face before after they graduate and uh, what they should be prepared for uh, after they have graduated. The theme of this year's event was our creativity flow continues urging students to exhibit their design innovations.
A number of lectures and workshops were held focusing on several aspects of design. In addition, some former graduates who made their way into the labor market presented their successful experiences for the college students. Designers, they are facing many challenges uh, today, so they have to know that their GBA, their cer certificate uh, is not sufficient, uh, and they have to focus uh, on mastering the hard skills, uh, acquiring the appropriate knowledge, and keep uh, up to date with the design world by attending uh, conferences and workshops. The Design Week 2018 also included an exhibition showcasing students' work and creativity in the fields of graphic, interior and multimedia design, giving the college students and visitors an opportunity to experience different aspects of design. From Nizwa College of Applied Sciences, Saleh Bakhalfan Rahbi, Adakhaliya, Governorate. Still to come on News Bulletin. Four old mud houses in Al Aqar neighborhood in Dara Nizwa are transformed into additional motels for tourists. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Among wide participation from male and female students of North Sharqiya schools, the activities of Builders of Oman exhibition kicked off. The event organized by Directorate General of Education in the Governorate aimed to introduce newly students uh, companies in light of the Sultanate trained direction towards entrepreneurship. Around 27 companies from 16 schools in the Governorate of North Sharqiya exhibited their products in this event, such as handicrafts, perfumes, frankincense, and other cosmetics. Such events aim to support students' companies through discovering students' talents and capabilities. The exhibition opens marketing outlets for students to market their products in the local and regional level. Providing health and social care to elderly and to protect them from violence and being neglected were the main focus of the second forum of for elderly friends. The forum held in the Wilaya of Sahar focused on the needs and requirements of the elderly like health care and respect. The forum also shed light on the role on and goals of Omani Association for Elderly Friends it has well encouraged and promoted culture of voluntary work among participants and social members. Within the Fakur Bay Initiative, 30 people were freed through courts of the government of al -Lahira. The Oman Lawyer Society say that the, don the donor refused to mention his name who paid the payments of dues to the convicted people, stressing the importance of helping them in the community. More than 100 lawyers participated in the initiative, which seek in its fifth edition to help more than 500 insolvent cases in various courts in the Sultans. A private company has succeeded in transforming four old mud houses into a traditional motels in Al Akhar neighborhood in the Wilayat of Nizwa. Our reporter Saleh bin Khalfan Rahbi has more details in the following report. Close to the historic fort and the traditional market of the Wilayah of Nizwa, visitors to these historical landmarks can now find accommodation at the Nizwa Heritage Inn, which the people of this Wilayah have successfully invested in to develop the old mud houses in Al Akhar neighborhood and transform them into a traditional hotel. The suburb has a historical, political, social and scientific value and has played a vital role in Omani history. So the company took initiative to bring life back to this uh, suburb and to make it uh, actually as attractive as possible. 
uh, for the tourism as well for uh, other scholars who actually would like to study the engineering and the architecture and the arts of these uh, old houses. Staying at a traditional inn is a new experience for visitors from both inside and outside the Sultanate to see how Omanis utilize the natural elements to build houses in a unique architectural style that depicts the depth of the Omani civilization. It consists of six houses. Uh, the company renovated uh, six houses uh, and uh, it has we what it like uh, four houses like accommodation and the other two like uh, for a service one of them a restaurant and the other is a reception and uh, office uh, we we provide like handicrafts uh, omani handicraft and uh, omani service like omani atmosphere it's like uh, a mud houses uh, 100 percent we didn't touch anything that can be like uh, distract uh, our uh, history the Heritage End Project is an ideal exploitation of mud buildings which have become ruins to revitalize these houses which in return generate an economic value and create an authentic touristic destination characterized by originality. This project contributes to preserving the Omani history and provides visitors with opportunities to experience living in a typical traditional Omani environment. From the Wilaya of Nizwa, Saleh Mokhalfan al Rahbi, Al Dakhaliya, Governorate. Here now the Ramadan timings for tomorrow. Fajr prayers at 3.58 a.m. and Maghrib prayers at 6.49 p.m. The latest analysis of National Multi Hazard Ali Warning Center shows that a low pressure system is formed south of the Arabian Sea without any direct effect to the Sultans within the next three days. The center stressed in its e-accounts that in monitoring the updates of the weather condition. Now for the general focus on the Sultans, clear skies will prevail over the Sultan with chances of low clouds and fog late at night and early morning over the coastal areas of the Arabian Sea, scattered rainfall is expected of the Hajar Mountains and in its early near, near, nearby wilayas. Winds will be south, easterly light to moderate, and seas will be slight with a maximum wave height of one and a half meters. This is the assault of Oman television before we enter the bulletin near the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos is more capable of greetings on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan. The assault wins the regional director position of the World Health Organization for Middle East and North Africa. And within the Kurba initiative, 30 people are set free through cults of the government of Allah. 
And with that come the end of tonight's bulletin from all of us here in the newsroom and the studios. Good night.